Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, we are going to look for Excel ticks and trips. The first one is to move the data, rows and columns. So let me go towards here and I can select this whole and upward or downward. And in the same way, we can move columns as well by selecting and then moving it like this. And the second is to filter the column. So I can select any of the column here. I will select filter here. Now I can sort from smallest to largest or largest to smallest. The third option available is the quick analysis tool. And you can select the complete table and then click on it. And you can arrange data bars or color scale or I can set there is a lot of options you can select according to your requirement the fourth option is the drop down list and you can store any values in the specific set so I am writing here some values 5 6 7 and 4 and now I am selecting this 200 and in this 200 I will select data and go into the data validation click on it and you can select list here and in the list you have to select the source column so i will click here and select these of the values and then press enter and okay now this 200 consists of a drop down menu consisting of these four values which i have selected from here and if i change the value by force it will give me an error okay so you can see here is a drop down list the fifth option after drop down list is to auto fit the column list auto fit the column so there is a very easy method i will go here and double click on it you can see the size can be adjusted according to the text size and if you want to adjust the column of the whole excel sheet click on here and just click on any one of the part and all the whole excel sheet will be auto adjusted uh, after doing all the things uh, let me move towards the sixth option the sixth option is the transpose of a table so i will uh, select this table completely and now go towards now copy copy the whole table and move here and i will click on paste special go towards the paste special option and by selecting all i will click on transpose and click on ok so the column the table is transposed now rows into columns and columns into rows the seventh option is to remove the duplicate it's a very easy option there is a table and there are two alleys name written in the table so i will click on it go towards the data and click on remove duplicate the column from which i want to move the duplicate is name column ali is written two times i will click on ok you can see ali is removed and it is showing that one duplicate value and after removing the duplicates the eight is to sum and the product function so i am writing here as you am sum and in the bracket i want to sum all of these values bracket close and enter so you can see the sum if i want to do after the sum i want to do the product i can do product as well but before doing the product i am going to go seek function which is stored in what if analysis it is very important and used in use most of the times so you can see here it is uh, the product quantity and i have used the product function here how i have written is equals to p r o d u c t product and in the product tab i am selecting first value and the second value and then enter so it is the product of this similarly all things done here and here it is no no quantity is written so if i write here seven so it will give 5600 so i am removing all the things from here and this is the total amount one lakh ten thousand and eight hundred now we are going towards goal seek analysis i am going towards zeta i want to know if it is one lakh twenty thousand how many furniture pieces are required so one is selected and i want to go towards one lakh twenty thousand and which cell i want to change 
so this is the furniture cell and now i'm pressing enter and it will auto calculate all the things by doing iteration and 12.5 furniture quantity is required for moving towards to 1 lakh 20 thousand so it is goal seek and what if analysis and uh, the last thing of the lecture is we look up so we look up means uh, means to search any value by name so i am going towards uh, we look up option and here is my excel file and i want to search for ahmed so i am uh, going here clicking on the function and clicking on v lookup and lookup value and lookup value i want to search ahmed and i want to know the value in front of ahmed the table so i will select this table and press enter and the column index there are three columns so i will search in the second column and false means the exact match so i will click on okay you can see it is written 400 and the value in front of ahmed is 400 so that's all for today uh, we have learned 10 tricks and tips so number one is move the data by copying and dropping it number two filter number three quick analysis tool for data bars and charts drop down list or storing some list against any specific cell auto fit the columns transpose the rows and columns means uh, changing the rows into columns remo removing the duplicates if some value is repeated in a certain column some function and product function goal seek and the last one is vlookup thank you